Okay, so this video is um, how to fix your turret for a very specific problem. So my very specific problem was it would index to all the tools, and I had just mounted this, brand new out of the box, but it would in index to all the tools except tool 7. And what it would do is it would just keep keep rotating, click, 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 maybe rotating one or two times um, before it errored out saying that, I don't know, it didn't find a tool or it took too long, whatever the error message was. So anyways, um, what I had done was I, I had opened this previous scene in another video, and then if we take a look at it, I don't know if you can see it. If you take a look, sorry, hold on. If you take a look, uh, you can kind of see it now. There's one wire for like every single position. So I suspect that there's maybe a proximity sensor of some sort basically telling the machine that yes, you're at tool eight, or yes, you're at tool four. Um, because it would be a disaster, and I've heard this happen to some other people, but it would be a disaster if it had change to tool 8 when you really intended tool 4 and let's say you had a big boring bar and a three jaw chalk then you're gonna shit your pants or something anyways okay so what i had done was i had opened the cover and i thought to myself like okay it's not indexing to tool number seven but it's index indexing to everything else so that means there's probably a problem with the proximity sensor the connection between that and the um the the pcb in the enclosure or maybe the board itself but i thought the most likely thing was maybe the proximity sensor or the wires so what i done was i opened the casing um and you actually probably didn't need to, need to do that but it helped me gain some insight and then i opened the back and this is where i probed i probed i probed wire number seven which is tool number seven which was this blue one using my <clears throat> multimeter what I was probing for was connectivity uh, or continuity. And then this is where um, the other wire had initially plugged in, it was a blue wire. And then of course I checked like, okay, you know, this is blue wire, even though it's blue on the other end, is it blue on this end too? And I checked with like, like tool number one and, and, and I validated my hypothesis. So anyways, um, yeah, this one was a deadline. There was no continuity, so it was an open circuit. Um, and this is the ghetto fix, but I'm probably going to ask Tormach to send me a replacement wire in the future. Um, but there was one extra line that was that was cut off, this orange one. And in terms of just testing out, you know, is this a sensor error or is this like a, a bad wire error? Um, it was very convenient. So I plugged it into, I, I stripped it, I plugged it into 7. The tape, electrical tape of course is better, but this is all I had. Tape off your exposed wire. And then I plugged in the other end, stripped this other end and plugged it into to number seven. And lo and behold, you can just run a quick program like this, T1 to T8. We're gonna hit second start. We're gonna hit second start. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, I must close the door. Oh, also if you uh, assemble this enclosure, which is kind of hard to do by yourself, um, the door doesn't always close well. I just put a little magnet over here. It's probably going to collect steel chips. It's a nice um, quick fix. Okay, door closed now. Set the start. Tool seven now. Yeah, tool seven. And tool number eight. So now it works. Oh, that's tool number eight. I guess that's right. Anyways, you also get a cool view of how this, how the internal connection. And then the last thing I want to add to this video is, uh, Tormog does sell like a hundred fifty dollar floodlight. This is not waterproof. I'll probably change out later. But, um, I mean, like, there's a lot of places that, that do sell waterproof, or even splash, splash proof lights for less than 150 bucks. I mean, it's not super pretty with the zip tie, but, you know, maybe save yourself some money and, and try, try this out. 
or just buy the turmoil code if you're short on time. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.